Hello everyone, welcome to BISP Solution. Today we are going to discuss about the participant feedback in the performance management model. So let's start today's tutorial. So the manage participant feedback task enable individual other than the line manager and worker to provide direct feedback into the worker's performance document. Okay, so additional role providing feedback might include peers, mentors, customer, and the other managers such as a matrix manager. The additional role providing feedback are called the participant. So participant can evaluate workers on content item by providing ratings, comment, or both, and respond to a questionnaires to provide a 360 degree evaluation. So participant feedback is recorded as a part of the official performance evaluation by including a variety of participants who have worked with the worker. The manager can get a broader view of the worker's performance to help in the evaluation. The participant feedback process provides the ability to specify who can request and track participant feedback. So the human resource HR specialists configure the process flow to specify whether the managers, workers or both can select participant to provide feedback, add quotient to the quotionaries and track feedback request and completion status. So managers and workers use their respective version of the manage participant feedback page to perform the participant feedback task. When the manager or worker requests feedback, participant re receive workflow notification of the request and participant access the performance document on the my feedback request for others page or from the link on their work list. Manager and worker can track participant feedback to monitor its status to see whether it started in progress or completed. Depending on configuration, workers can also see the feedback itself and the name of the participant who provide the feedback. So pro uh, it's also specify or uh, provide the ability to pro uh, provide multi-participant feedback by the role. So HR specialists create the participant role that can rate workers' competencies, goal, overall performance and answer questionnaires. They can configure a role that allow participant also to view ratings, comments and the questionnaires provided by the worker, other manager and the participant. In the performance template, the HR specialists select the roles uh, that can provide feedback in the profile content, the performance goal, the development goals and the overall summary section. Okay, so the HR specialist can also space associate separate questionnaires template with the different question to each role. Participant can't add or edit content such as the competencies or goal in the performance document, unlike manager and the work. So it's also provide the ability to use questionnaires to provide the feedback. So participant as well as manager and worker provide feedback by the answering question about the worker on the questionnaires that the HR specialist adds to the performance document in the performance template. So the questionnaires is a performance template section and appear as a tab in the performance document just as do other section such as the performance goals, development goals or overall summary section. So the manager and worker, if allowed, can add question they create to the questionnaires that's provide for the performance document. They can add questions only to the questionnaires that are associated with the participant role they select. You must also configure the questionnaires to allow them to add the additional question. Okay. And it also provides the facility to view participant names, roles, and the feedback. So line manager, matrix manager, and workers, if allowed, can view the names and roles of the requested participant along with the ratings, comments, and feedback they provided. You can configure the performance template so that participant can provide overall comment about the worker instead of answering question on the questionnaires. Participant can't view rating, comment, or questionnaires response provided by the worker, manager, or the other participant. Then the next we have the submit feedback and complete the participant feedback 
process. So line manager, matrix manager and workers if allowed can view ratings, comment, feedback with the participant, submits, the performance document and cautionaries. So participant can continue to provide feedback until the manager either locks the feedback process or completes the manager evaluation of workers' task and submit the performance document to continue the performance evaluation process. And at last, we have the print feedback. The manager and worker can print participant feedback as they can with other performance document content. They can, however, only print the content that their role is configured to see. For example, if the performance process flow is configured so the worker can't view the participant feedback, the worker can't print it. Okay, so let's just move on to the application and see how we can enable this manage participant feedback option. Okay, so I'm logging as an HR specialist. The HR specialist must have the appropriate security privilege and data role to add participant to a performance document. So in this example, the HR specialist adds a participant. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Uh, we are on now on the me and under the me, we have the directory here. Let's just click on this. Here, find the person whose performance document that you want to add a participant. Okay, for example, uh, let's select the and Joseph here. Then click on the show more option and then click on the performance. Here we have to select the review period, the performance document for the brand Joseph. Let's select the 2023 annual cycle and here find the document that you want to add the participant to okay and then um, click on the this three dot and select the manage participant feedback option Okay, so for here, we don't have the add option. Let's open another one. Also, we have this one. Let's open this one. Here, you have the add participant option. Okay, click on this add option. Here, you can select the person you want. Uh, uh, let's select Casey Brown. Okay, and select the role here, the associate and internal customer. Okay, you can select here. then you have to click on the save and close okay so we don't uh, send a request okay so if you want you can just uh, send a request to start the process Okay, so this is how we can enable the manage participant feedback task for any employee and add the participant to them to give the feedback of that employee. Okay, so I hope this task is clear to you how we can perform and how we can enable the manage participant feedback option under the directory of the HR specialist for any employee. So thank you so much for watching the video.